There are a lot of wireless adapter out there like this generic AC600 adapter that I bought cheap and well now it's broken. Well today, it's time to replace this with a TP-Link T2U AC600. I'll be sharing with you the benchmark results that I've conducted so that you'll know what to expect from this wireless adapter. Hey everyone, it's Ping, your tech edit here. Before we start, our sponsor for this video is CDK Offers. CDK Offers is offering a big, big sale this November. Grab up to 30% discount on Windows 10 license keys. Just simply use the exclusive discount code DUDE20 which will give you a bigger discount. Instead of the regular 20% discount, it will be a 30% discount for a limited time only. Starting this November 1st until November 30, 2021. Next, select your payment gateway. Once done paying, you should be able to immediately receive the key and be able to activate it generally via online activation on your Windows 10 installation. So going back on the review, what you'll get straight out of the box of the TP-Link AC600 mini wireless USB adapter Archer T2U is basically the mini wireless USB adapter itself and quick installation guides and also of course the driver installation disk which usually you won't be needing as modern operating systems would have the driver of this USB adapter already pre-installed on the operating system itself. It also states here that it works both on the 5GHz and also on the 2.4GHz band or Wi-Fi. The speed for the 5 GHz Wi-Fi, it says here that it can reach up to 433 Mbps, most likely theoretical speed, and also 200 Mbps on the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi band. Also another detail that is worth noting is that this particular wireless adapter is a mini sized wireless adapter meaning it's fairly small. I have here side by side the TP-Link wireless adapter and also my SanDisk flash drive and you can see that it is indeed really small just like as if you're having your own flash drive with you except that it is a wireless adapter. Although today there are other wireless adapters that are even smaller than this one but still this is quite compact enough for you to be bringing this everywhere and just putting it basically on your pocket and you have nothing to worry about. I have also tested the TP-Link AC600 Archer TTU's performance. I have performed two tests on this particular wireless adapter. First is the basic speed test using Ookla's speed test tool and also I have performed a more detailed throughput test. Just so you know, our internet plan is around 500 Mbps fiber so I should be getting around this much when using a gigabit port connected via a LAN cable. But how about this mini, mobile, and mighty Wi-Fi adapter with TP-Link? Can it handle this much speed? We'll find out in a short while. But before I show you the test results, I'm interested in knowing how fast is your internet speed that you are currently using right now. Let me know by leaving a comment down below. So here's the speed test results that I've conducted. First is the basic speed test using the speed test that net tool by Ukla. Next is the throughput test using Tamosoft's throughput test software. So I have decided to run a localhost throughput test wherein I would host a server or my computer as a server and use my laptop to test this particular Wi-Fi adapter connecting or sending data from the laptop going to my server or which is basically my computer connected all in a local network. Here's the brief overview of my setup. And also here are the test results that I've got. These are the test results for the throughput test that I've conducted while I am on the spot number one which is one meter away from my router connected via the 2.4 gigahertz and also at the 5 gigahertz Wi-Fi. For the 2.4 gigahertz, the average speed for the download is around 43.36 Mbps while the upload speed is around 31.73. While for the 5 gigahertz, the average download speed is around 253.59 Mbps while the upload speed is around 158.87 Mbps. For the second spot which is 5 meters away from the router, here are the performance or the throughput test results that I've conducted on both the 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi and also the 5 GHz Wi-Fi while using the Archer TTU mini wireless adapter. For the 2.4 GHz, the average download speed is 4.79 Mbps while the average upload speed is 10.73 Mbps. 
While for the 5 GHz Wi-Fi, the average download speed is 75.26 Mbps and 63.28 Mbps average upload speed. Overall, I think this TP-Link T2U AC600 performs decently well given its compact size and portability design. It is indeed mobile and mighty for an average user. Given that it's just less than $20 at this particular price point, you can't ask more from this TP-Link T2U AC600 mini USB wireless adapter. Although for a content creator like me who transfers gigabits of footages in between devices in a day, I think I would still stick with my gigabit LAN port to utilize our 500 Mbps internet speed connection. Although this might vary or change in the future depending on my particular usage needs. That's it. Again, it's your tag of the year. See you in my next tech video.